<laughs> While our two guys get ready for the next leg then, we'll take a look at today's feature. At the end of the last series, I visited the set of Lawnmower Man 2 and was kept up half the night waiting to interview Patrick Bergen. The original film was a huge success and Lawnmower Man 2 picks up quite literally where that left off. I am God here. Job, who lost his legs after an accident with a lawnmower, has found power inside virtual reality and is now attempting to destroy the real world and force everyone into cyberspace to push up property values and make a killing. Despite the heavy-sounding plot, there's a definite younger feel this time around, with more action and a cast made up largely of young cyber brats who can navigate the virtual world no problem. Their leader is Peter, the only member of the original cast to appear in the sequel. Unfortunately, Peter only knew Job was the nice guy next door with a big lawnmower and consequently gets sucked into his plans. Job? Alive. How could that be? There isn't time, Peter. I need your help. I'm dying. <laughs> what do you mean, dying? I need you to find someone for me. Benjamin Trace. What? Dr. Benjamin Trace. He's in seclusion somewhere. You've got to bring him, Peter. When the cyberscape dies, so do I. What if you want Jack in? Tell him I'm building his Chiron chip. Never trust a bloke who says Chiron chip, because Job has stolen it from my mate Patrick Bergen. I thought you said that trains didn't run through these tunnels. They don't! Oh, my God. It's heading right for us! The game is afoot. Top train track changing work, Patrick. But the real star of the film, in spite of his acting, is Job, who rules the most unfeasibly large virtual landscape we've ever seen. In fact, the producers claim that Job's virtual city is the biggest computer-generated model ever outside of Milton Keynes. Inevitably, the action leads Bergen into cyberspace to confront Job, and that's where the poo really hits the mixer. I found the secret to immortality in the Chiron chip. Where is the Chiron chip? Come with me now, won't you? Everybody's gonna enjoy it because it's one of those films that's not just for certain audiences. It's basically like being inside a, a huge video game. Farhad Man has created a, a wonderful, beautiful film. Get him out of there! He's getting out of control! I've never seen Job like that before. You've got to stop Job before it's too late. And in three days, I'll be in every system in the world. He came to save you, Job. In here, I am the savior. Lawnmower Man 2 will be plopping onto a cinema screen near you from March. <laughs>